Alright, so today I'm going to make a short video to explain about what is rate of change. Because a lot of students still find this chapter is very difficult. Okay, so okay, so whenever we see the words rate, right? Rate over here actually is means rate over here actually means uh time. Okay, so if if you learn about rate, you know actually it will mean time. So for example, if I want to give you some example about rate, maybe you will know about speed or you call it velocity. So speed is what? Speed is distance over time. So it have time over here. So yeah, so I can say speed actually is rate of change of this distance. I can call speed uh, become rate of change of distance if I want rate of change of distance means how the distance change on each second something like this so this one is something like maybe speed is something like km per hour or sometimes it's meter per second or some some other example you are familiar maybe i call it acceleration 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 is basically something like speed over time right so you will see a time here so this one actually i can call it rate of change of speed all right so so for rate of change right something i want to mention here i think is quite important is is the you, you will find out the time is always at the bottom you'll find the time is always at the bottom so this is something very important uh concept about rate of change means when you write the rate of change of anything it's always dt at the bottom dt over here is something like change of time okay rate of change of something of time and then the top here d what this one is very depends on the question if d, this is distant maybe you can say d distant over dt mean rate of change of distance okay because dt itself actually means rate of change rate of change over here is something like uh, change of time okay it's, a, it's it's something like yeah rate over here actually means time correct or not so yeah whenever you see the rate of change you you know something very important is you have to write the dt at the bottom and then the top here the question mark over here you there's so many possibility you, you can write inside the question mark but most of the time in your exam yeah they they will like to give you volume area radius r R stands for rate radius. If you learn Berlin, may, maybe called Jajari, something like that. All right, or it it can be, it it can be length L, or it can be it can be, yeah, it can be a lot of different things over here. Or sometimes they can be Y, or sometimes they can be X. Depend. It that it doesn't matter. But whenever you see that rate of change of volume, so okay, so I I will give you some example. So let's say uh just delete this one. Give me a moment. Uh. Oops. Okay, so for for example, uh, if you see something like, okay, if if the question say, uh, rate of change of volume. You 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 will always see something like this rate of change of volume. So when you see rate of change, first information you know you have to write dt. Right, because its rate of change is something related to the time, and time is always at the bottom. I mean, at the denominator, and volume mean you need to differentiate about volume. Okay, if you see something a like rate of change of radius. Yeah, you can assume radius is r. So because rate of change, I write dt at the bottom, and and I see radius, I write dr dt. Oh, okay. Or if you see something a like rate of change of y. Or rate of change of x it doesn't matter so you so you will write here is dy over dt right so whenever you see the word rate of change you must write the time at the bottom all right so let's say rate of change of the volume because sometimes you can actually find out using the unit given because volume most of the time they will give you cm cube and and rate of change at time at the bottom you see per second maybe rate of change of the radius radius is a length right rank they will use cm over time they will use 
uh, per second. If let's say rate of change of uh, y, y can be anything. So if let's say in this case is a unit, maybe I will say this is units per second. Yeah, it's very depend, but at least something very important here is whenever you see the sentence, you, you know how to write in the forms of the rate of change. Because in the future, I, I, not in the future, I mean in this chapter, in the further of this chapter, you will need to learn how to write out the change rule. So you must understand the basic of this one. So, so of course, I will go a bit further about explaining about this one because it's so important to make you understand this. Okay, so let me delete this one again. Okay, so for example, so, um, okay, for example, I got a circle. Okay, this is a radius, this is R. Okay, and then I tell you something like this. I tell you the rate of change of the radius. Uh, rate of change of the radius is something like two centimeter per second. It means what? If you see rate of change of the, uh, rate of change of the radius is two centimeter per second, it's mean, it's mean um, the radius going to increase 2 cm every second. So you're going to increase again another 2 cm for the next second, and then you're going to increase again another 2 cm for the next 3 seconds. This one means 2 cm per second. If Because this is positive, so I know it's increased. If rate of change is negative, I know it's decreased. Alright, so, so something very interesting here is if the radius is increased, of course we know the area of the circle will increase at the same time. So, a lot of time the question will ask like this, ask you to find what is the rate of change of the area. They want to know what is the rate of change of area. Means, if you know if you know that the radius is increased 2 cm for every second, okay, then the question asks you, then how about area? Means each second the area will increase how many seconds? So in order to find out the dA dt, so this chapter they actually introduce a change rule. So the change rule is something like this. So I will write out the change rule first, then I will explain. It's something like dy dt equals to uh, dy dx multiple dx dt all right so dy dt is something you want and then these two things you you need to find from the sentence or you need to form it yourself but sometimes they can give you I, I they can give you I uh, either two of the information here okay so in this case okay but let me teach you how to remember this one first normally Okay, if the question want me to find the dy, dt, what I will do is, uh, okay, if this is dy, I will write the dy on the top. If this is dt, I will write the dt at the bottom. And then the middle here is the multiple. So, then the next thing I know is, I know some things uh, between here must be the same thing. They, they must be the same thing. So, what do I mean the same thing is, uh, wait, let me change color. Uh, I'm going to change to this color okay so that's mean they need to be wow why so big one that's mean they need to be the same dx and dx all right so then you imagine dx and dx you can simplify then you left dy and dt okay this is how i form the change rule so for for change rule here something very important over here is they only have three unknown so when I say three unknown, what do I mean? You have unknown y, or not to say unknown, three variable is more accurate. You have y, you have t, you have x. Okay, so for rate of change, something you must have is the time. And y and x can be anything, can be volume, can be radius, can be area, can be length, can be anything. All right, but then you can only have three variable. So in this case, okay, so, in this case, low. So let's me I come. Uh, let let me come back to the radius and uh, the area case. So in this case, you you have three unknown also. You have you have r, you have radius. This is your first unknown. And then you have area, your second unknown. And then you have time because rate of change must have the time. You have three unknown. 
So do you find out whenever to use a chain rule, you only have three unknown. So in this case, how can I write out the chain rule to find the rate of change of the area? So what I will do over here is, okay, I, I will write the chain rule. Okay, so first thing is I write the chain rule. This is how I write. Okay, so I will write DA on the top top here because this is DA and then this is multiple and then the bottom I write DT. And then the, uh, the between here, I will write something they share in common. So obviously you already use A and T, you know you still left R. So this is DR and DR. Okay, this is how I form the chain rule. Okay, so after you form the chain rule, you just need to substitute in your information. So, but you will find out you, uh, you, you lack of some information, which is, okay, you have the DR, DT, which is two centimeter per second, but you do not have the DA, DR. Okay, so this is the difficult part, which is you have to form it yourself. But at least you know something over here is you know the you know the area of the circle. Area equals to pi r square. So if I want to do that, I want to differentiate the area towards the r. Basically, this is two pi r. So you can form the d d a d r by yourself. So if the but the question must at least give you the, the basic information about r. So the question might might say when the r equals to four centimeter. So your d a d r will be. 2 pi and then you substitute the 4 inside and then multiple 2 centimeter per second. So your final answer is 8 pi so it will be 16 pi. So that means the original here when this one is 4 centimeter yeah o okay so if the if the radius increase 2 centimeter per second the the area itself will increase 16 pi per second. Okay so if you if I want to write the unit this one will be cm square Per second means if the radius increase two centimeter per second I mean in the if the radius increase two centimeter per second I know the area going to increase 16 pi centimeter square per second all right this is some basic idea about rate of change of course I will give you more example in the next video but I hope you really can understand what is the meaning about rate of change and how to form the the equations and, and yeah how how to write out the information you need but then, okay, let me just further a bit before I end this video. Okay, let me just erase all this. Yeah, because I need, I just hope you can fully understand about this one. So, okay. Uh, wait, why I can't delete this one? Okay, so, but then sometimes the question is a bit tricky. tricky. So, for example, the, the question might give you something like this. Okay, the question might say, this is, the radius equals to 2t square, 2t square minus 9t. And then the questions ask you to find the rate of change of radius. They ask you to find rate of change of radius. Of radius. Okay, so if the question asks you to find the rate of change of radius, so first information you you know is Rate of change mean dt at the bottom, radius mean dr on the top. So if the question asks rate of change of a radius, mean you need to find dr dt. And this is r in terms of t. That means you do not need to ch need the chain rule in this case. Mean you just need to differentiate the r. So if, if I just need to differentiate the r, so what I will do is I do dr dt. So rate of change of the radius will, will be 4t minus 9. You just differentiate the radius. Of course, if the question wants a little bit more info, uh, the, if the question wants to go a little bit more uh, more further, so the question will, will give you something like this. I mean, at this instant, they will say at this instant, uh, time equals to 3. So what you need to do is you substitute time into the 3 over here. So it will be 4, 3, minus 9, 12 minus 9, and you will get 3. So the rate of change of the radius will be 3. I mean every second the radius will in increase maybe 3 centimeter per second. Okay so but then the question can a bit tricky yeah is the question can ask something like this if the question one okay just let me delete this one okay so the question can ask something like this uh, it's nothing to do with rate of change but then the question love to ask about what is the 
initial length of radius length of radius so something very important is whenever you see the word initial initial basically means time equals to zero so if the question asks about initial length of the radius so that means you substitute t into here but but then of course in this case maybe you uh, plus five so this is two zero square minus nine zero plus five so the initial radius will be five centimeter of course the five is is the i add it in my cell to change the question now uh, because some student might find very curious why suddenly plus five this is i i make a whole new question all right so yeah this is an equation if the question asks about initial length of radius what you can do is you just substitute t equals to zero into the equation because initial means they haven't start to calculate the time then they want to know what is the uh, initial radius then they only they find the rate of change of the radius and then they will give you uh the different information about time then you just substitute in okay it won't be very hard so so something you need to pay attention is no matter this is something like v equals to 90 power of 5 minus 5 t cubed plus 7 something like this if the question asks you find about rate of change of the volume and on the other side already in term of t that means this is in term of t you actually you, you just need to differentiate straight away you you don't need to form the change rule or whatsoever so if on if, if the equation itself is in terms of t, you can you, you can differentiate straight away. Okay? You you just directly differentiate. Oh, I call it directly differentiate. It's easier for me. Okay? So you just directly differentiate. So just remember this one. Okay? So if, if you have uh, a lot of questions about rate of change, if you feel confused about this one, you can post a comment below. If you really like this video, please subscribe me or give me a thumb up. Anyways, thanks for watching.